color for text and graph legibility. Is blue bad? Blue gets a lot of bad ink, not to mention a lot of bad pixels. Guidelines often say to avoid blue for text and other objects with fine detail. Many have adopted this mantra without question or inquiry. But studies generally find blue to be an excellent color for text and for grounds in CRT displays. Blue is supposedly bad for two reasons. Chromatic aberration White light entering into a prism or other lens refracts, bends. The amount of refraction depends on wavelength. Short wavelength light, which usually is perceived as blue, bends more than other wavelengths. As a result, no lens can sharply image all wavelengths at the same distance. Foveal Titanopia The fovea has the highest resolution for perceiving fine detail. There are no short wave cones in the very center. The area of maximum resolution, so presumably it is impossible to see blue when an image falls there. These considerations may or may not be important for viewing printed material and other continuous or extremely high resolution media. In computer graphics, however, these factors are largely irrelevant because computer images don't have sharp edges. The digital image consists of pixels which are inherently highly blurred. In fact, a rough equation would be total blur equals image blur plus chromatic aberration plus accommodative error. Pixel blur is so great that chromatic aberrations contribution to the total blur is small. In contrast, printed images have little intrinsic blur. So chromatic aberration constitutes a major factor. Moreover, the best brightness contrast possible on CRT screens is far lower than that of normal print. This makes sharp detail in computer screens even more difficult to see. So the negative effects of blue in print, if there really are any, do not transfer to the computer screen. And no resolution doesn't matter. Pixel blur is still noticeable even on 2 kilo or 2 kilo monitors. In addition, the visual system seems to deblur color edges anyway. The part of the visual system which processes any color has low resolution. Color should appear to bleed across edges, but in fact, this doesn't happen. The reason is that the achromatic system captures color. That is, the color seems contained within the achromatic boundary. This is why you only see the inherent blur of color edges when there is an equiluminous border and this happens very rarely. Moreover, the blue cones contribute very little to brightness perception anyway. On the other hand, blue is useful to create high luminance contrast. 
blue is the next darkest color to black. So it provides high contrast against light colors to enhance acuity. This probably explains why so many studies find it to be excellent for text and why viewers read blue or white and blue or yellow combinations highly.